Hello and welcome to a Warframe video, another alert with randoms. So it's self-explanatory. I go do I do these little uh, beauties over here. I, I have these alerts over here, and I'm gonna do them with a random group. See what happens. Uh, it's pretty much what you'll be doing at most time of the game, just playing with random people. So let's see what kind of uh, I don't know what kind of game we can enter into. So I'm currently using Oberon this time around, Oberon Prime, and uh, it's a Warframe that I haven't used in a while. Um, even though he's actually a very good Warframe. So um, my current build for him is. Look at all these shiny stuff that we got here. <laughs> so I tried to incorporate, interestingly enough, with um, I do have prime mods inside um, on him. Um, I have a Hunter Adrenaline because that actually benefits a lot with all that health that he has, thanks to the Umbral mods. And uh, surprisingly enough, at my current state, um, I'm able to actually I was able to put all the Umbral mods without actually polarizing Oberon, which is imp which is interesting. I guess he, he has uh, some very good polarized slots to begin with, so yeah, that was actually work that worked blah, 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 blah. that worked very nice. Let me just put some arcanes in here because why not? Even if they are not really that significant. And uh, yeah, let's let's do this thing. I'm using the Astilla because I really like I'm starting to really like this gun. Uh, the Maraditron because hell yeah, I'm starting to also like this gun as well. <laughs> and the Sigma and Octantis, which is of course well, it, it, it's, it's, it, yeah, I, I really like this gun. Gun, weapon, sword, shield. Sword and shield. As for my Astilla, I currently have it built for, um, well, status actually. It's got a 99.9% .9 status, so um, that's actually pretty good. And it does some decent corrosive, actually does a lot of corrosive damage. On, on top with some heat and a lot of decent basic stats you actually see we have some really good basic damage so um yeah and uh the thing about the astilla it's actually a gun that um w when it actually explode when it actually hits it actually explodes so it does an aoe and actually i have noticed that you do more damage more fluid damage when you uh hit enemies with that aoe so that's something interesting so let's do a um let's do a survival because why not? A nice little survival. Survivals in uh, alerts take about 10 minutes. Once you've uh, completed the survival, you just leave, obviously. Um, the whole objective is just to survive for 10 minutes, so... Yeah. And I, I, know, I, I know people can stay for longer than that, but there's no real point because it's just, it, it's just an alert. Uh, now, if you're doing a regular survival and trying to go for as far as you can, then yes, because we, you actually get some decent rotations and stuff when it comes to alerts you just you know you, you, you do the alert you complete it you, you evacuate and that's pretty much it Ooh, i see a really good ship on top of me <laughs> i like that ship i like the, um, the um, what's it called the skin of that ship but obviously you I, I i like using the ship that i'm already using so it's cool oh, whoop. oh we got an x i haven't seen you in a while we have an x what warframe is that that's loki in his succubus skin or succu something uh, incubus skin what yeah Ooh, nullifiers. I hate nullifiers. What is that guy? He looks like a ash. Yep, he is an ash. Yay! Alright, so we, we have an... Ooh, interesting. We have a crack controller, two stealth fighters. Uh, uh, well, a ninja, um, a stealth fighter, and um, me, <laughs> who is a... Um, well, I guess, what, what am I? I, I support slash tank? I guess I would be. That's basically what I am. Um, of course, I can't really support people unless I have energy. So let's uh, wait until we get some energy. Uh, oh, Stalker. It's always a party when Stalker drops by. Oh, but it's Anuka. Never mind. <laughs> That's not really that big of a deal. Let me just grab this. Come on, come at me. Where are you? I'll destroy you. Why? Get out of here. Um, gonna wait for this guy to show up. Come on, where are you? There you are. Dead. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that was a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just melted him <laughs> or her. Zanuka is a female. It's a, supposedly a female, right? I think so. All right. So <laughs> that's um. 
that Zenuka down. And uh, I think we got some kind of barrel or something for a weapon, I think. What, what, what weapon is it? Hang on a second. Let me just view mission progress. Oh, I got the scimitar avionics. Oh, get out of here, Lotus. I'm trying to see something. Scimitar avionics, yeah. Oh, I have noticed that our uh, my teammates seem to be draining life support. They don't know the secret about containing uh, life support, but the thing is, there's no point in in like um, uh, in in saving life support in an alert because you don't you're not going to stay for that long anyways. So I don't really get angry with you know people wasting life support because it's it's not really a waste. It's just you know. And I don't think people should like get angry either because you know it, it's it's just an alert. You're only there for ten minutes, so as soon as you're done, you're gone. So yeah, it doesn't really matter if they use lab, uh, life support or not. And besides, life support is gonna just keep on being delivered, so it's not like it's you know the end of the world or something. So yeah. Now, if you're doing like uh, a, re a reactant or like uh, specifically a, um, a, a sortie, then that yeah, that's when you don't want to waste life support. You want to use it when you are at the uh, you know like below fifty percent at least. So you can actually see about my Astilla, the gun. I'm actually just aiming down on the uh, on like the group. Like all I do is aim like at, the, at their feet and stuff, and the, the, the shrapnel pretty much does all the damage. So. Pretty good. I like this gun. As for Oberon, well, I haven't needed to heal y yet, so he's a good crack controller. He does already his abilities deal radiation damage, which of course, when they when it procs, it'll uh, confuse enemies. So I like that confusion. I really really like that confusion. Let's see where my teammates are, what, what my teammates are doing. Uh, why is why isn't Loki invisible? We don't. This Loki is very, very new. He oh, he is new. He's master rank seven. Oh, and he has wings. He has butterfly wings. With the da 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 butterfly wings. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, excuse me. I just went right into that. Let's do this. Uh, everybody's just running around here in this location, in this general location doing stuff. Oh, look at all this flow of enemies. I like it. I like it when in, well, when there's like a, a nice little stealthy supply of enemies to kill. It's awesome. It kind of reminds me of the, um, of the void, um, if you do like, uh, uh, if you, if you're, if you're cracking relics and doing like a void survival, there are some times when the game kind of glitches and doesn't give you as much energy enemies, um, which is kind of sad. I think that happens when people split too far apart and enemies are like all over the place trying to figure out where they're going to be spawning. So I do recommend staying somewhat close to your teammates just so that you can, you know, so that the enemies keep, you have a steady supply of enemies coming, flowing in. Although I have noticed that over the, uh, over the time, like most, uh, it, like pl it's more, co it's mostly common for player one and player four to get all the spawns. So. You just stick with them if you've spawned in, and yeah, you're bound to have uh, some a nice little flow of enemies. Who's our uh, number one? That guy. Let's get rid of these guys. And whoa, why is that? that why is that there? I do have punch through, so I should be able to punch through enemies and stuff. This gun does chew through ammo very, very quickly, which is kind of sad. Whoa. Ding 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 ding. Kill him. Let's put all that. We have a nice little capsule over here. Not a, well, not a capsule, a uh, thingy member. Why is it so far away? Excuse me. Why do these things have to spawn a million miles away? You know? I know that they spawn where the first player usually is or was, but. It would be nice if they actually spawn near you somewhat in your approximate location. I mean, you're the only one who can actually pick it up. Each 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 cap each one of each 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 focus capsule or multiplier or something. It's like in, individual to the. It's you know it's for the individual. So why would why why spawn at, at another player? Why not just you know 
spawn near the player that it's meant to be for. That'd be a lot better than having to go miles away. Oh, there's an fire. When my thing disappears, I know there's an fire nearby. I can tell. There we go. Gotta kill these um, Ospreys. I have noticed that these guys are not using any of their abilities. Like, I haven't seen any confused enemy, I haven't seen Ash becoming... I haven't seen any Blaze Storms. So, it, I, I mean, it, we don't really need to, like, our guns are doing a pretty decent job. And maybe they're trying to, like, level up their guns and stuff, which makes sense, I, I guess. But then again, I have noticed that um, new players tend to not use their powers a lot. They haven't, you know, reached that point where, ooh, it's all about using powers and stuff. Like. It's one of the differences that you'll actually see with veterans. We, uh, well, I'm not a veteran. I've been, I, I only have been playing the game for, you know, a while, but, um, well, a couple of years. But um, you'll actually notice that I'm always using my powers. And it's the same thing applies to almost every other player who's, you know, like a veteran of the game. Like, we're always using our powers. Always. In fact, most builds are essentially specifically for, for, for using your powers. Because they're fun to use, I mean, you know, it's the whole thing that's fun for uh, Warframe, it's using powers, you know, superpowers. It's not just a shooter, it's also kind of like a... I would, I would, I would describe it as a, sp a, a game that has space ninjas with Marvel superpowers. That's basically how I would describe it. And it's, uh, I think it's an accurate description. Hey! You alright there? Destroy the thing, because it's annoying. Boink. Nope, I don't want to get... I don't want to fall to the ground. Hey! She's ignoring me. Here, get some health. Oh, damn. That went around in time. Wait, where did that guy go? Ow. Is there another place for here? Oh, this just that. Well, my energy's maxed out, so... You know what, let's do this properly. Let's put this field on. Activate, like this. There we go. Now we got some extra armor to work with, which is good. I don't really have that much strength. In fact, I don't even know. I don't think I even have strength. Do I? I don't even remember. Um, but yeah. Let's see here. Another one of these. Let's pick it up, because why not? See, it's all, it's all the way down there, where the, where the first player is. There we go, let's get this. Oh, I'm being shot at. Keep my teammates supply with hell, nice and healthy. Sorry, but my gun over wrecks everything. I do apologize about that, about what to do. Enemies are kind of weak in this level. Almost had that. There we go. Let's do this. Confuse enemies. Uh, actually, we're good. With, I think I'll just keep supplying, bleh, supplying my uh, my my enemies, my my uh, allies with with energy. And extraction is ready. All right, let's get out of here. So, all right, let's get out of here. So yeah, that's uh, another survival well done. Point. <laughs> kind of pointless, but okay. Move. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, hello. Got a star over here. Did I pick it up? Because I didn't notice him. If he, I didn't notice if he picked it up or not. Anyways, there we go. Oh, there's a uh, cephalon fragment over here. Don't know if anybody wants that. Probably mark it. Take one fragment. There we go. The noise people actually picked it up. But hey, it's there. If anybody wants it, it's there. We. All right, GG. Another alert. And uh, it actually went very smoothly. Hey, what's up? Not very special, and he's shooting at me. Do I look that good that I encourage hate because of uh, how cool I look? 
Well, we've got the Scimitar Avionics. Uh, I guess I could sell those, you know. Because why not? Alright. Got some uh, focus points, which is good. I don't currently have anything, any new weapon to, to be leveling up or anything, so... I just use the weapons that I have, which of course are pretty powerful, especially for alerts, so... It kind of like... <laughs> everything just dies as soon as I start shooting. But it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, and Mr. Host left immediately. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was actually quite fun. So, um... Yeah, that was uh, another alert with randoms. Hey, you can expect this. I mean, as soon as you're done with the alert, you pretty much leave, you know? Leave to go to the next alert or anything else. And that's pretty much what everybody does. I mean, I would have left anyways, so... Ah, yes. Anyways, so, I got stuff to do. I got some uh, other farming stuff to do. And uh, I did an alert. It's actually fun. It's actually fun just going to s going in, a, in, a, in an alert and just seeing who you find and what happens. <laughs> Uh, well, I'd like to thank you for watching, stay cool, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.